Hi, in this video I will tell you how to identify duplicate cases or identical cases present in your dataset with the help of MS Excel or spreadsheet and any other spreadsheet such as WP spreadsheet what I am using here. So how to apply the formula? So just write in the last column here equation so con Concatenate. Concatenate means putting together in serials. So what it will do? It will put the selected values in single cell. Right? Let me see. So you see here, what I'm doing? I'm selecting all the values present in the cell. So ignoring the demographics. So here we go. So you see we got a single value. Right? So you can verify it also. You see 5, 5, 4, 5, 5, 5, 4, 5. And the last value is 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. Right? Now copy this cell and apply it to the entire data sheet. Till your last cell. Right? Now we got the values here. However, we are not sure which row or the case is identical of which ones and how to do it. So we have to apply now another technique here. So just select the last column, only last column, not other columns. Okay. And home. And here you see we have one function that is conditional formatting. Highlight cells and here. You see here one functionality is there duplicate values. So the all duplicate values now have been highlighted. So many values are identical. So only few values are non-identical. Rest of all values are, uh, all cases are, most of the cases are identical. Now the question is, which case is identical or duplicate of which one? In order to identify those cases, we have to uh, treat this entire data set in another way. So again go select the all data sheet and then home and here you see we have one function that's formatting sorting sorry and custom sort and here the last column P. So we have to sort all the cases by last column in ascending order means small smallest to largest. So here we go. So you see here what it has done. It has uh, arranged all the cells, all the cases with respect to the values of the last column in ascending orders. Now what you need to do is uh, you just apply one single formula that is equation this one and minus the previous one, only highlighted one and then copy it. the last so you see here where are zeros so zeros means they are totally identical or duplicate of each other like for example here you see so these 23 23 23 23 23 23 23 so the, all these values they are identical means uh, case number 13 62 76, 125, 168, and 176, they are identical. They are duplicate of each other. Then 46, uh, sorry, 152 is not identical. Uh, then 46 and 109, they are duplicate of each other. And then you see here 151 is not identical of anyone else. Whereas then we have two uh, cases here and on and on. This is the way you can detect the duplicate cases and then you can delete them from your data sheet. So thanks for watching.